Let me give you a little update for Tanmora. All right, so Tanmora has, we're at war. I'm still with the Vagers. He has Jareeb Castle, Mazin, and Udiniad, which actually worked out good, and I'll explain why in a minute. I got those at about 500 renown and at about 50 honor. We've been at war enough times for me to get 27 right to rule. Notice I'm friends with Amir Boba, Count Farn, Jarl Akadon, Jarl Tulug, Boyer Kumipa, Boyer Valishin, Boyer Gastia, Boyer Vlan, Boyer Raucha, Boyer Voldrat, Jarl Montawar, Count Place, and King Yaroglak. And enemies, none. So, um, simply by helping people when they're fighting others, releasing people rather than capturing them, um, increasing my renown, I'll show you how I'm doing it, um, increasing my honor rating, I might be able to show you how I'm doing it, uh, by releasing people, I get increased honor. And by helping villages against bandits. Um, so that's my character report. My par party size is up to 103. So I have Jareeb Castle, Mazin, and Udiniad. Generally, I'm building, well, I'll show you real quick in Mason. I'm building a mill, and first I built a school in this village. I have all the buildings built in the other village. In my party, I have three Vagar guards, seven infantry, which promote to guards. Um, three knights and seven horsemen, which promote to knights. Three marksmen and seven archers, which promote to marksmen. The idea is I'm taking troops out of Jareeb Castle. You can store troops in the castle. And if you look where it says manage garrison, I've stored the troops here. And I, I can move them back and forth simply by clicking and stating give or clicking and stating take to move them back and forth. And I'm trying, the troops cost half while stored in the castle. I could have gotten another castle from the king, but I turned it down because I felt like I w could only adequately defend one castle. I didn't want to spread myself too thin. I am planning on going on my own eventually. And I noticed Udiniad and Mazin are near Jareeb Castle. So I felt like um, all, all of the two villages and the castle were close together and easier to defend. Um, the Factions, the Vagars, are currently at war with the Kurgit Kanate. They declared war on the Vagars, who have got, actually, when I joined them, did not have much of the map, but uh, now have one, two, three, four, five cities, and they have several castles all the way through to Jamied Castle, which I believe uh, belongs to the used to belong to the Saranid Sult Sultanate, but in any case, Jamied is pretty far to the east in this case from them. So they've expanded quite a bit uh, while I've been with them. He offered me the marshal sh marshalship, but I turned that down. Now, let me show you, I already went with the marshal and um, followed him around, did all his tasks, 
and gotten uh, experience from that in this war. So I'm hoping I don't have to do that again in a while. Now, the way I'm training troops is I'm taking 39 with me. And I run around this area looking for something that it's got to be at least half my size. But generally, um, 48 is higher than the amount of people I have. I'll probably have some people killed. But if I win this pretty well, I'll get a good amount of reputation out of it. So, not that I really need to save it, but let's go see how this hand-picked group, which has some good units, but a lot of ones I want to train up. And we will see. He's running from me. I hope those guys didn't join this group, because if they did, we're going to be in trouble. I'll give you nothing but cold steel. Whew. All right, I have 39 against their 48. So let's, uh, I'm going to follow pretty much my same strategy. And uh, you can see how much um, reputation I get from this. Then I'll go see if I can help the villages and see if I can get some honor to show you how I get some additional honor, especially during peacetime. All right, I have 39 troops against the 28 bandits. And they're a little bit more of a problem than sea raiders because of their bows. All right, charge the enemy. F1, F1, 1, F2, F1, F2, F1, 5, F2, F1. Two, I put I click two and put them over here by holding F1. Three, hold F1. Move some of my cavalry over there. I'm gonna have people zero F2 F2 to fall back ten spaces. Oh I see uh um, I can't, uh, all right, and two, F2, F1, and three, F2, F1 to get them to turn around. All right, zero, F1, F3. We, uh, we just get as many as we can get here. Now, I F1, F1 to collect them together because there'll be a new group attacking me. Then 1, F2, F1, F2, F1. 5, F2, F1, because I set the archers on 5. Re I'm reforming everybody. 3, F, hold F1. Stick them over here because I see them approaching from up there. My archers have a chance to pick them off. 2F2F1, 3F2F1. And 0F1F3, I'll get them to charge. I missed both of those, huh? All right. Three renown out of that and 13 morale. I had one wounded and they had 47 killed. So the important thing there was that I had a few advanced troops to help out. Um, but notice the infantry, I get several promotions out of that one fight. 
So four units promoted in one fight. And uh, how much renown did we get? Oops, sorry. Um, so let me grab this real quick. Pretty sure there's nothing we're really interested in. And uh, another archer is upgraded to marksman. So I've already gotten stronger. Um, Metheld is at 79%. Now, if we look at the notes, recent messages, you can see the three renown here. Remember, every 25 renown is one extra troop. So if I do this roughly eight times, I add another one person and roughly 24, 25 renown. And if you look at my reports, my morale is at 61 after that fight. So I will run to Rivacheg and sell the stuff. They can't, they can't really catch me. And then I'll go back and I'll try and do something else to show you um, something in the village. But basically, I'm repeating. The reason I'm not showing you everything is I'm repeating the same things over and over. Now, I can't sell the prisoners to the rant. There's no ransom. <laughs> e is kick. See? E. Um go to the marketplace I can sell the armor you can sell anything in any of these stores but I try and keep them by their category 1224 here so I think that'll be enough turn make sh sure I have some food 29 under 30 is a good price for a fish. See, I'll take one bread while I'm here. Okay, so let me head to my village, Udiniad, to show you. Um, in my villages, I go down and I one of the, I noticed that if you help your villages. It seems like when you do the budget, you get more money from your villages when you do stuff for them. So to do stuff, you click on the village, go to the village center, just in case I get ambushed. And then I just ask the elder if there's anything I can do for him. Notice my relation's already 100. Do you have any tasks I can help you with? So they just, they need some cattle. So I say, how many animals do you need? He wants seven cattle. So I say, then I'll bring you the cattle you need. And I'll go to my village mason and get the cattle. So I'll show you how to do the cattle quest. So they said seven, right? Ugh. All these people running around here. They're bound to attack me. Go to village center. And I want to buy some supplies. I want to buy some cattle. First, I buy four, which is 608 dinars. And then I buy three, and that together makes seven. So it's literally costing me 1,100 dinars. And I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get 1,100 from the village for getting the cattle. So go figure that.
Now, um, I want to bring it to Udiniad, so I kind of make a line between the cattle and me for Udiniad. Click the cattle, left click. Drive the cattle onward and space bar. Come on. You get behind them to cause them a gut to go a certain way. Where are they at? There. Once I deliver the cattle, I'll go to the center of the village again. So you want to choose a village close by, wherever you're going to get the cattle. If a military marshal asks you to get cattle for the troops, tell him okay, but follow him until he stops somewhere for a campaign. and Or you get in front of him and get the cattle out of the village in front of him. And so they'll pick it up immediately. Come on. That's the seven. All those guys are following me. You think they'll be there when I get out? It looks like there's roughly 120 of them. I don't think I can fight that many. So I hope I don't get attacked by all those guys. I should have ran away and come back later. All right, and that finishes the quest. Do you have any tasks I can help you with? He says he's suffering at the hands of a group of bandits. So I will tell, I'll show you. I, I can teach you how to defend yourself. Then I go, I tab to get out of that. And I click train the peasants. And notice uh, the training skill decreases the amount of time the training takes. Then I click train them, and you'll sit there for the eight hours. Notice the people that were going to fight me have left. And one of them has grasped. So now you're going to have to fight them with a staff. And if you don't win, then you're not going to get credit for that guy, and you're going to have to keep on training people. Usually you have to train them about three times and win in order to com get the bandits. Once you get the bandits and defeat the bandits, then you get uh, other benefits, and I'll show you. All right, start the practice fight. So you're going to have to get decent at fighting with the staff. Ugh. I didn't do that very well, but we won. Notice I got two experience out of that. So whenever you're fighting these guys, whether it's um, in the tournaments or the arenas, you're getting experience out of that. Sometimes you get bonuses with your weapon. So I'll train the peasants. And I will try and watch the messages on the screen. Notice Mazen, Udiniad, and the castle gave me um, dinar. In fact, roughly 2,400 dinar came from those. I notice when I'm doing the tasks, I tend to get more from those places than when I don't do anything. Okay, you see three of them have fully grasped the training. So I'll probably lose against three. The goal here is try and avoid getting hit by them 
and knock them down one by one to decrease the number that you fight. And that was that. They knocked me right out. So sometimes I, I've, I've done a couple of these successfully, but not many. Three of them's a little harder. You have to try and get them isolated. Uh, I'll click Train the Peasants. You notice time passes while you're doing that. One of them. So it goes from hard to easy to hard. Uh, start the practice fight. But they do get better. Even the single guys get more sophisticated. So there you go. A little back and forth. Now, actually, I'm going to leave for just a second. And I'm going to look at my party, see if anybody gained experience over this time. And actually, I'm going to glance at the recent messages. All right. Let's do it again. Um, do it ag uh, actually, let me save it here. You know, I'm OCD with saving. All right, back in, and let's train the peasants again. Train them. Uh, it looks like when they give these messages, you're close to going to war. Especially the Vagars are currently at war with the other country. Uh, so the Nords are more likely to go to war with the Kingdom of Vagars especially with us being up against their border because they have something to gain by that as well. All right, two, now it goes to two of them. So two is easier than being against three at least. Trying to get one of them isolated. Whoops. Ah. Uh. I needed to be quicker about taking that one first guy out. I did a little bit of damage. I wanted to continue working on him and see if I could knock him out. All right, I have to fight two of them again. So we try it again. Whoa. Yeah, just deal with it. Go back in and try again. I'm going to train them again. Jamayed Castle. So remember that for me. There's a feast. I'll show you um I'll show you what happens at a feast as well. All right, two of them again. Ugh. Left side block, right side swing. Let's go find... Jamiet, I think, was nearby. Where was Jamied Castle? All right, suppose you don't know where something is. You go to notes, go to locations. It's in alphabetical order, so I know Jamied is under J. Click it. Then it says um, it's Villages Mazig, and it says Show on Map. Oh, that's that castle I showed you. I don't think I'm going all the way up there just for that. 
I'm going to miss one of the feasts. So let's train them again. Train the peasants. Train them. I'm going to accept Jayek. By being friendly with the king and getting the honor and everything, he gives you stuff. So I'm going to accept the honor. So we need to go to Jayek when we get a chance. One of them has fully grasped, so hopefully we can defeat one. Start the practice fight. The right click to swing. All right, Whew. a little bit tough, but I beat them. They actually get better at this stuff. Um, train the peasants. Train them. Let's finish this off. Three of them. Okay, again, three... I'm not too hopeful against three, but we will do our best. I don't even have a chance to swing when three of them are going because we all get our swings. Let's train them again. Hope my guys, I have to look at my food after this one. Because over time, your party eats your food. All right? It's going to have me fighting against two of them. It gives you practice against multiple opponents. Because I was able to get one down, I could just focus on one with the second. So the trick there, I saw I injured the one on the left. So then I went after him again and got him down while trying to avoid the other one. Once the first one was down, I was able to get the second. And that's how I defeated two of them. So now we'll train the peasants. Train them. And it gives me one. Start the practice fight. Okay. Um, we've done it several times now. Usually we get attacked by bandits at this point. So it says, after beating your last opponent, you explain to the peasants how to better defend themselves against such an attack. Hopefully they'll take the experience on board and will be prepared next time. As you get ready to continue, a sentry from the village runs up to you, shouting, that should be alarms. The bandits have been spotted on the horizon, riding hard for a diniad. The elder begs that you organize your newly trained militia and face them. All right, prepare for a fight. F1, F1, 1, F1, F3. Have the infantry charge. Then 5, F1, F3, the archers behind them. And then 3, F1, F3, I'll bring the cavalry. But 2, F1, F2, I have some people follow me. And then I take them 0, F1, F3. Come on, where are you at? Where 
Where is he at? Alright, now once you win the battle, you press the tab. Notice I got three renown and six morale. I had no casualties that way. I put the infantry ahead of the archers. The cavalry can run away. So when, since I sent the cavalry in last, at last, they, the people already attacking the infantry, which are designed to be tough and draw the attacks. The infantry are kind of like the magnet for everybody, the archers and the cavalry to attack. Continue. My relation improves. I refuse stating that they need these items more than I do. And you see, you gain honor. And that is where, if you look at the report... My honor rating, I think it was 60 before, it should be 61 now, because I should have gained a point of honor. And that, uh, my friends, is basically what I'm doing, helping my villages, training my troops. Um, in fact, let me show you the party. My horseman gets promoted to a knight. So I got somebody promoted out of that. And once I've got him promoted, I'll bring him back, swap out at my castle for three um, knights, three good at, of the guards, uh, three of the marksmen, and then um, I'll get like about seven archers, seven infantry, seven horsemen. So I hope that makes sense to you. Thank you for watching.